I need a recording what's going on. I'm not going to tell you again. Right. I need to have a recording what's going on. Y'all telling me I can't fly because I have money. I'm leaving. I don't want to fly. What you going to do? I'm a rapper. And what? What y'all telling me? No, I don't. If I'm not flying, I don't have to declare anything. You don't went past the checkpoint, sir. I mean, like, I completely understand the frustration, but there's also a part of me that's like, what are you doing with $10,000 in cash on a plane? Am I crazy? That's weird. That's, I don't know. I think that that's weird, but <laughs> maybe it's because I'm poor. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not flying. Well, well, I got you. This is ridiculous. Bro, they tell, they tell me they, they don't want to stream me because I have money. I'm a rapper. What you mean I'm going to do? I'm going to have money. I don't think you're quite understanding. What y'all tripping, bro? It's ridiculous. And then he screamed, they checked my bag, and then... Maybe uh, if I had $10,000, I would understand more why, but... I'm a rapper. What you mean I'm going to do? I'm going to have money. What y'all tripping, bro? My logic is flawless. I uh, don't think so, but I get the frustration, but they're right. I mean, the law is the law, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, there's reasons. That is very annoying. I have to agree. Also just wasteful. I mean, I get that it's boring on a plane, but just go to sleep. That's what I do. I sleep right after takeoff and I awake right before landing. It's so weird. My body just knows. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna hit the ball up there. She's a, she's a batter. She's a... All of you. All of you. She might be drunk too. To speak truth. Yeah, God. Oh, say can you see? God bless America. You know that? That is just beautiful. Yeah, no, dude, I think it's funny too in this one how like everyone's kind of like creating a circle around her. You know what I mean? They're kind of like, oh, good, the circus is in town. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, yes, I say, Marie, come over. There's a lady freaking out. You know what I mean? I don't know. Don't tell me the GI's upset. Oh my gosh. Or is he, st is he stopping a situation? Do something. You're not safe. There's two soldiers there. You're good. I am not I'm not safe. I, I tell you he's not safe. Another 30 minutes from now when I come back in this room to film something, I got a nice, I got a fart broom for Chris. That's who's not safe. I'll tell you that right now, Chris in some trouble. He's laughing, but he's not. No, but uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't really know what to say there. She's got two soldiers there. It looks like two pretty handsome, strong soldiers. Hello, sailor. Um, I need more context now, I just don't know. I can react to the funny stuff, but I don't I don't know what the story I need, I need dialogue, baby. I need some motivation. I need to see what's going on and all that. Old, because they were? Keep them playing for young and spitting. Don't spit last. Don't like that. Don't be spitting. I'll take my. Y'all. Yeah. My mom's gonna be so proud of me tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. My mom's gonna be so proud of me. I beg I to differ. Unless she's a Karen too. Uh-huh. And I asked to go somewhere else because they were being Okay. But I get kicked off. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Right. Tape this. Ta who's taping this? Who's taping this? Oh, right back at you, baby. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yes. Uh, and there's also taping right beside you. My mom would be proud of that one. Uh, you know, unless she's a, oh, she might be a Karen. I didn't even think about that. She might be a Karen too. She could be a Karen too. I didn't even think about that. If she is, then she probably is proud. But like most moms, she's probably not proud. Not your finest moment, honey. We don't love that for you. I could be more, I could like more of a woman than me. That's why you're mad. You love me. That's my, I'm not what you want. What you gonna it's do? My you're what not you gonna and you're setting a bad example for the children. What in the world? Like, just put FaceTime, to, like, just close FaceTime. 
You could get internet and re-FaceTime when you're in the air. You just, there's just a little bit of time where you can't use your phone. There's no FaceTime on earth that's that important. To get kicked off the plane? Just say goodbye. Bye bye. See you in two hours. Like, what is she mad about? My grandfather died four days ago. I can't get out of the plane. And I fall out of Pennsylvania. A.V.E. No, I'm not gonna shut up. I completely understand that like this is a person who's going through something. I mean, they said that their grandmother or father passed away four days ago. That's very recent. That's terrible. Mission Control, we have a belligerent dumb here that won't cooperate. My condolences um, does not give you an excuse to act like a jack. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. When, when, the, when the manager comes, she is being that. Oh my gosh! Like. We do sympathize, we understand you're going through something. We, you know, we all respect that. Uh, this is still the airport, you know? Sit! You see anyone else getting up? Sit! God! Sit! You sit down in that seat and you stay Don't find it! Really? Stay Don't find it! Really? Sorry, both, but that what they think of America. They think that it is a disgrace. I think of America. Oh my gosh. Me and Taylor actually watched the body cam footage of this. <laughs> Encounter, but Kate, why does everyone want to get political on a plane? Mom, I need my phone in my purse, please. I need my phone in my purse, please. Get it. 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 Get Oh my god, she's gonna see this at some point and absolutely cringe, I would hope, because uh, it's just a bad situation all around. <laughs> Yikes. Man, yeah, no way you're getting on that flight. Honestly, they did you a favor by not letting you get on that flight. Again, though, this lady spent a hundred dollars just getting drunk. That's it. <laughs> oh, I don't know, this guy kicked me off the flight. I don't know. What's your idea? Flight was paid for. I don't know. The airport thing I've had to drink is what this airport sold. All right, these right here. Hey, hey, dude, I stand to make $2,500 to go to New York. It's the only reason why I'm in this airport. Don't raise your voice. Hey, come on. I'm telling you, the only reason why I'm in this airport. Excuse me. Don't raise your voice to me. You understand? Only reason why I'm in this airport is to go to work. <laughs> and apparently, also get drunk. Mister, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, how do you even get that drunk at the airport with how expensive airport drinks are? Do you pre-drink before you go to the airport or are you just buying $17 beers? No worries. That's a genuine question I have. I don't know. Have you ever been drunk at the airport, Chris? Right? Cause like even a bottle of water is like 10 bucks. No problem though. No problem for that guy. Cause he's going to work. Hey, hey, if you want to listen or you don't want to listen. Oh, all right, right. then let me talk. Oh. All right, oh. starting up. They're looking for a different aircraft. If you guys do not want to, I am not a pilot, so I do not know what talk. goes in there. Yeah, he really shouldn't be talking. Once again, once again, assume. 
people want the pilot, they're like, oh, this guy shouldn't be talking. I'm like, the pilot's not gonna come and give you updates. In my experience, in C Canada, if they have to get a new plane, they have to get an entirely new crew too, which will delay your flight even further. <laughs> But like I think that's just the rules or something like that or probably has to do with like scheduling making sure they get sleep or I don't know Something like that safety hazard to yourself when you're not able to fly should an emergency Well, I'm gonna tell you something right now. I'm gonna get fired on Monday because I've been at a freaking seminar all week and I had a drink at the end and I couldn't get on the plane But that's okay. You know why that's okay? Because I've been in service. I know what a man's about I don't even know, like what was he even saying? I'm gonna get fired, but I'm a man. I'm like, I <laughs> don't know how any of this correlates, but drunk brains do not have common sense. Well, this has nothing to do with your manhood. Right now it has to do with your safety. Okay. Dude. So we can reschedule you for tomorrow. No. Okay, you can try for an American Airlines. Dude, you are not the only airline in this airport. I don't know what plane he thinks he's boarding, but he is sadly mistaken. What is it? What if I do on this flight? What if I do on this flight? I'm not getting any pain. So what? Tell me then! Are you a fing. I am awful, Master. I love stand back. I am back! I don't know. I mean, you're yelling in the flight attendant's face. That's probably something that's wrong that you're doing on this flight that would cause them to be a little upset at you. So you're you, you idiot. You're not doing any self any favors. You're not doing yourself any favors either. So what? Have, don't touch me. You touch me. What have I done? What have I done? I can't speak for anything before this video because I wasn't there, I did not see it, but I mean, it's quite clearly in front of us all. <laughs> I don't know, I mean like, out of all of the drunk people we've seen at the airport and on planes, like this guy actually seems kinda nice. <laughs> <laughs> he's causing a problem for sure, but like he's what not yelling, he's not cursing, he's not trying to like push anyone. He just wants to spin around with his little wheelie suitcase. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? There are worse things in this world, I will say that. Okay, what in the world? <laughs> Imagine being on a plane with like a hundred strangers and thinking that that's the time to make your political stance. You think, I, you think I talk about my kids about same marriage? No, we don't talk about that. But if we all want to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. But also, why you're getting kicked off a plane and then you're like talking about same sex marriage? <laughs> How on earth is that even what's on your mind as you get kicked off a plane? It's not that no problem. Here, you wanna look? Come, you wanna look? Come over here and look. <laughs> She's leaving for God's sake. Yeah, get the super bike. This is all because this lady decided to do that. And look, it fits too. Dun, da, da, Dun. Da, it look, it fits. Where is she? Okay, we'll hold it. Oh, That's really? Big deal. That's really it. oversized. It fits. It's over the size. Okay, but is she gonna use it? Okay, this is no. She can carry. It. I'm just saying. 
Oh gosh, those like bag fitting things are so annoying. But like, if they're just like, oh, the bag's too big, you have to check it, I'll just check the bag, whatever. It happens, it's annoying, and it's like, it's like 50-50 too. Sometimes the bag's perfectly fine, and then you use the exact same bag, and then they're like, nope, it's not. So sometimes I have been in that position before, but uh, again, didn't yell at anybody, just went, okay, no problem. Not you. <laughs> 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 you there you go. So, how many times do I have to say you to all of you before you say, oh, yeah, I'm right. I've done nothing wrong. Wow. Get the plan. Because I've done nothing wrong. Get the plan. And that. Uh oh. Okay, I'll just sit here until the next slide. Imagine just getting drunk off of mimosas so much so that you can't board your flight and then just yelling at everybody about it Like she's yelling at the people at the like gate or whatever She's yelling at security who's coming to remove her and then also everyone's laughing at her. It's a it's a bad situation <laughs> I'm not sitting here. It's not safe. Do you understand? Ma'am, there is nothing you see. Do you understand? No, ma'am, I, I don't understand. You can't make me. I'm not sitting here. Yeah, I work hard. I pay for my seats. Clearly, it's going to put my life in danger. Okay, so you're going to move in. That's how it's going to be. I, I can't move anyone. Do you want me to call the cops? Do you want to lose your job? Do you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> This lady was just going in. Karen, remember the last time somebody on a plane was like, you're gonna, you're not gonna have your job tomorrow. And then she lost her job? Just have a weird feeling, okay? Sometimes karma really does come back and she's a bitch. <laughs> Jeez, that flight attendant has way more patience than I would have. I would have kicked that lady off first sentence. Uh-uh. Oh, she's drunk. Are you That's illegal. That's illegal. She's hammered. Do you realize what you're doing? Why you hey, 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 This is my fiance. Okay. She's drunk. I'll stop when you stop. I'll stop when you find my glasses. I'm disrespectful? Are you kidding me right now? How did I disrespect you? Oh my god. How did I disrespect you? Sweetheart, it's just it's okay. She had a few drinks. No, you stop. You stop, I'll stop. You stop, I'll stop. That's you stop, I'll stop. Somebody get her a glass of water. Uh, not that I would know about drinking, because I've never had a beer in my entire life. That was a lie. Uh, yeah, no, uh, you can't. Like, I get it. You know, you want to have a few drinks before the airplane. That makes sense. Uh, you do it 1960s style. I hear you. You know, you, you you slam back a couple whiskey sours. I get it. I hear you. I'm sure you guys at home know somebody that does that too. Uh, but if you're someone who doesn't handle alcohol very well, uh, you can't do it. Wait, this woman lit a cigarette on the, on the, whoa, that is, okay, yeah. Ma'am? Not the every day, man. Ma'am? You smoke a cigarette, man, I don't know. Do you have a bag with you? She, whoa, she denied smoking it right in front of the flight attendant. Yeah, I mean, you can, a cigarette's kind of hard to hide, you know? You can't hide it from your mom, you're not gonna be able to hide it from the police. Um, okay, well, you know, don't smoke on airplanes. Uh, there's a reason why we don't smoke everywhere. You know what, I'm gonna share a quick memory with everybody. I'm getting so old now that, uh, and the kids today, the kids watching aren't gonna understand this, uh, but when my parents used to take me into a, a restaurant, you got to, uh, the wait, the hostess would be like, hi, how are you doing? Are you doing great? You have a, you have a cute kid, he's, he's a little big, but he's got blue eyes, he's cute. And, and then I'd be like, great, I can't wait to eat food. And then she'd be like, do you want to sit in the smoking section or the non-smoking section? <laughs> yeah, there was smoking sections and non-smoking sections, which if you have any idea of how smoking works, just doesn't make any sense. Basically because the internet. What? I'm gonna inflate Wi-Fi just to post this. What? A my dog could be a better god for you. What? She'd be a fight. What are you talking about, lady? Also, I like the, the, I'm not gonna lie though, the mood lighting on that airplane. It's like a, like a, some blue going on there. 
Oh, it is blue. Look at that. Yeah, your attitude sucks, lady. That's the worst. I've actually never been on an airplane before. I've, I've never been to an airport. Fun fact for Chetty, I've never been. But like, I feel like I just sit there and behave myself. I don't know, just an idea. I've been here for two days. I've been here for two days. I've been here for two days. He's been here for two fucking days. He's been here for two fucking days. Eat it, eat it. After the first day and the first night at the airport, I mean, I, yeah, it can happen. And like, and I, I'm sure some people have stayed two nights in an airport. I, I'm not wrong about that, Chris. I'm always right, right? Some people have stayed two days in an airport, but but after the first night, would you not try and find a hotel somewhere? No. If you got money to buy a flight, you got money to buy a hotel, no. Uh, but I feel like some some places will look. Well, we've even set you up with a room at this place. I know that doesn't happen all the time. I know I'm just being I'm I'm giving them the eggs Benedict of the doubt, but I'm just I'm just saying. You don't have to scream. Like two days, two days. <laughs> I spent two days playing Call of Duty in my underwear. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Very TikTok. <laughs> Very TikTok. Honestly, I don't trust the floor of the airport. I will sit down on it if I have to, but I would rather sit in a chair. I don't know. I just feel like it can't be as clean as I want it to be. <laughs> But that shot was nice. I mean, no one was there, clearly, so. Do your thing, make your little TikToks, you little influencer. Ooh, somebody missed their flight. Yeah, somebody missed their flight at the last second. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks, but once that door is closed, it is closed. You are not getting on that flight no matter how much you want to. No matter how, especially not if you yell like that, you know? Oh, uh, have you guys ever missed a flight before? And if so, did you yell at the employees? I missed a flight once and I'll never do it again. <laughs> Some, uh, so some bags got stuck in the baggage, or so people are, I climbed into it? Ooh, um, ooh. Can't play that song, but. They're climbing that, oh, okay. We're dancing, we're climbing. You, I, I, you have to put some other, some other smooth beat in there while I'm dancing to the, to the groove there. Um, yeah, don't do that because you don't know what's behind there. There could be some, there could be some gears and machinery you don't want to get stuck in between. Otherwise you get turned into a red paste. Thank you for coming to Houston National. I don't know why I said that, it's just the top of my head. One side of me, like I get that, you know what I mean? Like if, like, if this thing's broken, um, you know, I, I, I get that. You, no one wants to lose their luggage. That sucks. I don't even know how that happens. How the hell does that even happen? You gotta be careful, man. Like going on conveyor belts and stuff. Oh, that's dangerous. I, my, my mom would not be happy if I climbed the conveyor belt. Sir, please you stop. need to stop. There are children. What the? Please stop. Is he that's wearing? Take your stuff and get out of my. Please. We will take care of it. Thank you. But I need you to stop yelling. She kneed me in the stomach. Why are you in my face? I, I'm asking you to stop. Is this man? any type of violence since I've been on the plane? No. Visible confusion. So what? Yes, sir. She kneed me in the stomach. I don't care no. what she did. You're being Thank you. Somebody get Shut the down for two seconds. I want a lawsuit. I want a fucking lawsuit. Is he? Is he wearing a Burger King hat? You can't listen. There's something with law, there's something called credibility. When they show a video to the court of you wearing a Burger King hat and you're swearing at people, credibility? Uh, next to nothing, buddy. And that's coming from a guy who farts on the internet. So, yeah, no credibility. <laughs> this woman opened an emergency exit of a plane before the flight took off. Well, you're not, you're not taking off now, are you? For some fresh air. Cabin crew had reminded her not to touch the butt, well, uh, 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 obviously. But when the stewardess turned around to help others, the woman opened the emergency door. Ooh, drama. Uh, she was taken away and detained by police. Well, yeah, you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to open it. That's just, why would you do that? I, <laughs> that's, 
I, I, some people, listen, I know I can't read and people will make fun of me for that. That's okay. I can't read. I need extra help reading. Maybe someone from the comments could come over, help me read sometime. I don't know. But uh, don't open the exit sign. Don't be stupid. Stay grounded. Don't sniff your own farts. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that one. I, I, I don't know. I don't know.